In our previous Chapter 4 videos, we've looked at how do we can compare two quantitative variables. Now we're going to look at how to compare two categorical variables that are in a contingency table. So from the contingency table uh, in StatCrunch, under Stat, Tables, Contingency, since it's already in a table, it is with Summary, not with Data. What we need to identify is which columns our numbers are in. So if we move this, we can look, and they are in X1, X2, and X3. Our row labels, we can see, are in variable 1. And then to get the marginal distributions, we simply need to press Compute. And now we have a contingency table with our totals added to it. We can also use this package to find the relative frequency marginal distributions. If we go back to Options and Edit, under Display, we have several different things that we can display in the chart. One of them is Percent of Total. Percent of Total will give us the relative frequency marginal distributions. The one thing about this package is it does report uh, all relative frequencies as percentages. The questions are looking for the answers in decimal, so I need to make sure and move the decimal place twice or divide by 100 uh, to get the answer that we're looking for in the homework. Another way we can look at the data if we want to compare between the columns, if we want to compare the value of y1, y2 across the different values of x, is with what's called a conditional table or conditional distribution. This package also allows us to construct a conditional distribution for the columns. To do that, we simply go back in and under display, choose column percents. So if it asks for the conditional distribution, you're going to select column percents and compute. And now we can see that each column sums up to 100% or to 1.